Good afternoon. How are you guys doing this afternoon? Good? All here, all awake? All right, are you guys excited to be here? All right. Well, it is past three o'clock, so I will be respectful of the time, and we will go ahead and start our international graduation, all right? Yay! So this graduation, just so you know, is being recorded, so you guys can watch it later on as well. Graduates of the class of 2024, this is your day. We, your families, friends, and mentors are all here to witness your incredible achievement. Take a moment to soak it all in. This momentous occasion celebrates not an ending, but really the start of the next chapter in your journey. We are honored to have friends and family joining us from near and far, including those who have traveled from outside the United States. Thank you for letting me, Carla David, the International Program Manager, MC this afternoon's event. I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to our Chancellor, Dr. Tamil Gilkerson, Berkeley City College's President, Dr. Denise Richardson, Director of International Education, Thomas Torres Gill, Associate Dean of Student Engagement and Basic Needs, John Nguyen, our dedicated professors, proud parents, the Office of International Education staff, and everyone else who has come together to make this day truly special. To each and every one of you graduating today, I offer my heartfelt congratulations on your remarkable, remarkable achievements. It is my honor to welcome BCC President Dr. Denise Richardson up to the stage. Good afternoon, everyone. Esteemed faculty, proud parents, and most importantly, the incredible international student graduates of Berkeley City College of the Peralta District. I am honored to stand before you and to acknowledge the success that has brought each of you to this moment. For many of you, the journey to pursue your studies Peralta Colleges has been arduous, leaving behind your homes, families, and friends to study in a different country was an act of courage and brave self-determination. To then complete your goal of graduation is evidence that you have taken charge of your future and equipped yourself with the unbeatable advantage of higher education. As we celebrate your achievements, I want to also express my gratitude to you for contributing to our rich diversity and cultural identity here at the Peralta Colleges. Because of you, we have a more well-rounded view of the world outside of our borders. And in many ways, you have educated us by cultivating understanding and a greater degree of intellectual curiosity about the customs and values that you embody. As you prepare to take the next step in your journey, whether it be transferring to a four-year university or beginning your career, remember the most important underlying lessons that you've learned here. You finish what you start, and challenges are merely exercises to strengthen your resolve. As you move forward, know that Peralta will always be your community. The lessons you learned here the friendships you made are now permanent, a permanent part of who you are. And we are so very proud to be a chapter in your history, in your story, excuse me. Congratulations, graduates. We wish you gratifying successes and abundant joy as you continue your journey. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Richardson. At this time, I'd like to call our Chancellor, Dr. Tamil Gilderson. Well, good afternoon. Hi. How's everybody doing? I apologize, there's a little traffic getting here from College of Alameda, so I apologize for being a minute late. Most wonderful remarks, Dr. Richardson. Uh, distinguished guests, uh, faculty, classified professionals, administrators, and most importantly, our incredible graduating class students, welcome. You know we have something in common. I was born outside of the United States, and I got my college education here in the East Bay. It's a long way from my birthplace, which I know sounds familiar to you, from Korea to Oakland. Um, many of you, like myself, have traveled a great distance to be here today. Some of you were born across oceans, others across cultures, but all of you chose the Peralta Colleges um, and chose this beautiful Bay Area location to pursue your educational dreams. As chancellor and someone who walked a similar path, I am incredibly grateful and proud of what you've accomplished. You've juggled the challenges of a new environment and perhaps a new language, all while excelling in your academic pursuits, uh, your resilience, your academic dedication is truly inspiring. Today, we celebrate, we honor, before your regular full commencement ceremony, your graduation, but it's really proof, right? It's proof that you can succeed anywhere. You know that, right? Do you know that? I mean, come on now, right? I need to hear it a little bit more. Yeah, right, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, folks. We might try one more time. time. You know it, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. Let me tell you something. I've learned this for sure. If you could make it at the Peralta Colleges, you could make it anywhere. That's for sure. <laughs> You've embraced new opportunities, broadened your horizons, and enriched our Peralta community and I'm excited to see where you go and what you do next. Uh, the Peralta Colleges take great pride in fostering a diverse learning, educational, and inclusive environment. Um, and you, our international graduates, are a testament um, to the power of education to bridge borders and cultures. Um, as you embark on the next chapter, remember the knowledge and experiences you gained here I hope you carry the Peralta spirit of passion, purpose, and possibilities with you. Never stop growing. And I actually was running in with a former faculty member, um, not a former faculty member, a current faculty member at Lane College in the ESL Health Department. And many years ago, um, she worked when I was the president at Lane College uh, on a project where across the curriculum, students, and many of them international students, ended up being in these courses were studying um, one singular text across multiple things. And what was interesting was I got to read the reflections of students, and many of you come from very monolithic cultures, right? Very places where everybody looks the same as you, or you know, you've grown up in one area or thing, and man oh man, coming to the East Bay and the Bay Area, the diversity is so, right? It's so rich across ages and cultures and how people look and speak and act and it's never one thing. And so I really do mean that when I say that you really can succeed anywhere and that what you have done in your time here should be celebrated and honored. So congratulations to the class of 2024. Uh, the Peralta Community College District is honored to have been a part of your incredible journey. Uh, congratulations and thank you to the International uh, Studies Department and everyone who's helped you on your path and journey. Congratulations. Thank you, Chancellor Gilferson. At this time, we'd like to invite our international director, Thomas Torres Gill.
Hello, good, a good afternoon, everyone. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Gotta get the right mic, though, right? <laughs> it's really good to, see, to be here, and this is uh, by far one of my most favorite days, our international student graduation. Uh, we started this in 2018. Uh, we had never had a, a graduation ceremony just for our international students who have come here to complete their programs. And so I wanted to welcome all of you and your family members coming from many different countries or all over the states. So thank you guys for, for all coming here today. Thank you all for support. Really do appreciate having all of you here. Uh, also, thank you to the team. The team, Carla David, put on this wonderful event. So let's give it up for her. We, and of course, everyone else on the team, I'm sure you have seen what we set up for afterwards. Uh, our goal is to elevate what we do. And uh, whether it's for all of you as students when you first contacted us, and, or when you're leaving our program onto your next step, we want to make sure that you had a very rewarding and fulfilling time uh, at the Falls Colleges, whether this is your home campus, or Merritt, or Laney, or Alameda. Uh, our goal is to make sure that we provided you with exceptional uh, services. So thank you all for trusting us with that. Uh, and why are we having this graduation event? I felt that when we welcome all of you for our orientations in the past, our welcome days now, we did a great job of bringing you in. But we wanted to make sure that we concluded that with this graduation ceremony as well. You will all be walking the stage at your respective campuses soon. And so what we decided to do is present to you some stoles from our office, so you can wear those alongside uh, your other stoles that I see you wearing today. I see some green ones in Brazil. There's a few Brazilians here, right? Clap if you're part of the I know there's some Colombians as well. Yeah, there you go. Some Mongolians. I know, the, are you, I know there's some. We're, we're everybody, I was rereading, just so you know. I reread. If you have a slide up there, I reread your personal essay that you wrote when you applied to our colleges. And I just want to tell you a little bit about you as well. You are an amazing, diverse group of students who are here today. A lot of you came here on a, for a different purpose and fell in love with the area, and you found a way to continue your education or to transition in your careers. Like one of you, I also worked at McDonald's a long, long time ago uh, and wanted to do something different and better with my life. And I know that person is doing it too. But we've had lawyers in this audience, or still, you still are a lawyer. We have a student with a doctorate degree that's now here. We've had a student inspired by their grandmother teaching them math, and they excelled at math and had their AST in it. Uh, we've had people working with public health and students with disabilities, teachers. We've had people that want to improve the lives of our areas through urban um, ecology, the department at Merritt College. And so I wanted to just commend all of you for entrusting us and choosing us as your place to continue your own academics. And I can see why you fell in love with this area for all of those that did and wanted to stay. It is rich in diversity. It is amazing to me how diverse our program is. Uh, we've had students from over 90 different countries uh, years ago. We have students from over 60 different countries right now. And my goal is every one of those students is sitting here for the next graduation ceremony that we have. Um, and so thank you all for, for trusting us with that. We also have special people who have worked in our office for years from Spain. Yes, my Ellen, that's you. Calling out directly. And another one who couldn't make it here today because she's on post-completion OPT and living in Chicago. It's Juliana Lima. So we wish she was here as well. And then we also have an amazing journalist student who's going to be coming up and sharing her own story. But you might have read her story in the Peralta Citizen. Uh, about how not all international students come from you know, wealthy backgrounds and have extra resources to come and live here and be a student anywhere in the world. That a lot of you are making your ends meet day to day. A lot of you are putting in a lot of time, energy, and family resources to make sure you are sitting in these seats today and in the seats at your commencement ceremony. So I want to congratulate all of you on all of that you have accomplished. And we wish you nothing but the best of luck in what you decide to do. And know that you are still part of our family, even after you leave here. You'll always be a Berkeley City College, or Alameda, or Laney, or Merritt. 
a Peralta student. You're one of our students, and you always have a place in our hearts. So congratulations to you. And so what, what's next, right? I think you'll see on the slides what's next for each of you. And we're excited to share that. And we hope you bring these stoles with you to your own commencements occurring next week and you wear them proudly. They do have your college emblem on them along with the international office logo. So we hope you wear those silver stoles along with all of your beautiful green ones that I see here. Thank you all for dressing up. It's so cute to see you all, all dressed up too. Uh, so thank you all for trusting us with providing your education. Thank you team for all the hard work that you all do helping our students. Thank you faculty for teaching them and helping them progress in their careers, so thank you all, and thank you all for being here, all right? Thank you, Thomas. All right, at this time, we would like to welcome Isabelli, our salutatorian at First Speech. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Dear fellow graduates, faculty, guests, and beloved family and friends, today we are celebrating an important milestone in our lives and an honor to stand before you to represent the International Students of 2024. I would like to start congratulating every and each of you here today for being so brave for leaving your families and home country to chase opportunities that only living abroad can provide us. Six years ago, I left my home in Brazil with a backpack and $200 in my pocket to pursue my dreams in the United States. It's been quite the journey filled with the highest highs and the lowest lows. Throughout these years, I've poured my heart and soul into every step of the way, working hard to achieve my goals. But none of this would have been possible without the support of my family, friends, teachers, and staff here at PCCD. To them, I am grateful for all the love, encouragement, and belief in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. Along the way, there were moments when the road seemed impossibly long and the challenge impossible to overcome. One of the hardest trials I've ever faced while during this journey was losing my mom. Yet, by riding this roller coaster of grief, I found strength in the belief that she is guiding me and looking for me every day. For those of you here today who can share this moment with someone who is no longer physically with you, May you always feel their love and presence. One of my favorite songs, Time of Your Life by Green Day, says, for what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end, it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. And I did. Despite the twists and turns, the ups and downs, here I've made memories that will last forever. As we stand on the brink of a new beginning, let us carry with us the lessons we've learned, the friendships we've made, and the love that has sustained us throughout it, through it all. Let us embrace the future with open hearts and minds, knowing that the best is yet to come. Congratulations, class of 2024. Today we celebrate not only our individual achievements, but also the collective spirit of resilience determination, and perseverance that has brought us to this moment. May the journey ahead be filled with endless possibilities, boundless opportunities, and the time of our lives. Thank you.
Thank you, Isabelle. At this time, I'd like to invite Wilson, our valedictorian. Dear academic and supporting staff from Peralta Community College District, friends, families, and all of you graduates, the class of graduates, the class of the spring 2024. Good afternoon, buenas tardes. I'm filled with a profound sense of gratitude and pride in this special day. And here, being the valedictorian of this ceremony. To be honest, when Ryan, Gregory from the International Student Office, contacted me to offer this opportunity of being the valedictorian, I really, I really didn't know what it meant. Because in my country, Colombia, we don't use this academic title, but even without knowing what exactly it was, and because of the cheerful tone of Ryan, I figured this was an opportunity. So I said yes. I said yes as I'm used to use, as I'm used to welcome all the opportunities that have shown up in this chapter of my life as an international student in the US and at Mary College. And that allowed me to have some, some of the most unforgettable adventures of my life till now and to discover amazing people that have profoundly inspired me. Being part of work parties at the student farm to have nutritious crops for our community being part of campaigns and hikes uh, with our sustainability club to appreciate and respect, to, and respect nature, being part of the student services team uh, to encourage people regardless of their age, to be part of this community college and to pursue their professional and life dreams. Far beyond the boundaries of textbooks, lectures and field trips, these were just some of the special opportunities that I was able to take during these academic semesters and that now make me appreciate the value of the cultural diversity on, on campus and in general in the Bay Area. As we are moving on to the next chapter of our lives, I want to encourage you to say yes to every opportunity that speaks to you. Say yes to the promising and also to the unknown ones. As Ben, as ben Nelson, our program director in Mary, uses to say, be curious and don't forget to go and explore because the joy might be in a place that you don't expect or even better, you can offer joy to others and bring a positive change if you go and explore. Remember, happiness is not measured by how much money you have in your account, how many cars or houses you own. Experiences and memories really bring you closer to happiness. And the sense of being healthy in the community I would like to express my gratitude to my mentors, Elizabeth Bogel, Brad Balbuchian, and Ben Nelson from the sorry. Um, yes, and Ben Nelson from the Natural History and Sustainability Program at Mary. Their kindness and especially their continuous support allowed me to finally get the job that I dream of. When I started this academic journey, I just started a role promoting community development and environmental conservation. Thank you all, and let's go for our next life chapters full of challenges, 
goals in the two plates. Gracias. Thank you, Alton. So what's next is we're going to be passing, it's going to be passing of honors. Um, so we will be collecting cards at the end. Graduates, go ahead and stand up. At this time, what you're going to do is you're going to exit on this side and hand your card to Todd. And you're going to line up against this wall. At this time, I will be calling the Berkeley City College graduates. Uh, when I do call up your name, you can come up behind me and then just follow the path. Make sure you pause at the end so you can get a photo of the photographer, okay? <laughs> Angela Carrera. Liliana Briseno Gonzalez. Debra Benedicto Andrade da Silva. Donna Lynn.
Erica Medina. Hakan Gocek. <laughs> Kathleen Lori De Sousa. Lara Suro Chikova. Marielin Murua of Haribai. Mariana Mendonca. Tan Jung. Simona Patiso. Soma Sugiyama. Now I'll be calling our College of Alameda graduates. <laughs> Patricia Mercedes Arbildo Grande.
Aryan Jargal Aryan Bol. Now I will be calling our Laney College graduate, Isabelle Sabo Barbosa. And now I will be calling our Merritt College graduate, Alejandro Gomez. All right, we have one last Berkeley City College graduate, Tume Shea. And that is all our graduates. I think if you all have the program, which you should, we have a number of international students graduating this semester. We know we're the week before finals week. It's a Thursday before the holiday. There's many graduations going on, so we also want to acknowledge the students who might have graduated last fall that couldn't come back, or and along with those students who are graduating this semester that may have class right now way off at Merritt or Alameda or who couldn't come today. So congratulations to all, all 68 international student graduates and of course yourself as well. Congratulations. Now, we, we have a tradition that we started when we did the international student graduation back in 2018. And so the closing remarks are going to be pretty simple and quick, but uh, do we have one more graduate here? Brianna? Can you bring that up here? I'm going to do one more. I'm not going to hum the music, though. <laughs> All right. Carla, do you want to say the name, or do you want me to give it a shot? There you go. Just a moment. All right. All right. I got the first name. And also from... Also from Berkeley City College, to Moulin, Garia Perez. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Yes. So we have uh, one tradition that we have at our international student graduations that we did the first year. And every year we're back here, we do the same thing. So uh, for the closing remarks, 
Uh, I'm going to ask all of our graduates to stand up one more time. And I'm going to ask our team to go on the stage. We're going to take one big group photo on the stage. So come on up here. Uh, Annie and Todd and I think another, our other Annie should also be here. You guys just squeeze in between them. You can sit alongside the stage or stand right behind. Um, Carla, I'm going to ask if you can help me with the computer in the background right now. Okay, that's what you get everyone else. So come on up to the stage. After this, we're going to go out there and have some fun, okay? Come on up. You can go wherever you want. You're standing up. One row sitting, one row behind. Yes. Come on in. Chancellor, President Richardson, please come on up if you like. We'd love to have you in this floor. Yeah. Test while people are doing their. Yeah. Go ahead. No, get, get, everyone who's cell phones, go ahead and get what you want to get. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll be my turn. <laughs> we'll test. Okay. And then we'll do a cheer, right? We talked about doing a cheer. Cheers! <laughs> okay. Oh wait, a cheer on video too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we did a cheer. <laughs> How did it go? for being here today, the Chancellor as well. Give it up for the Chancellor, everybody. And for our President, Dr. Richardson, as well. I want to thank you for carving out some time for our international students. Really, really appreciate it. Um, and for all the family and friends and community members here today. So now we're, we're, we're done, so we're going to go ahead and when you're ready, we're going to stand up and just walk on out, and then we have some food, some drinks, some tables, a photo booth. Let's go have some fun, okay? Congratulations, class of 2024.